the great thing about doing something like this is it's about experimentation. It's about trialing things out. The elderberries that I've collected, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. Foraged it for this video, so I might as well do something with it at this point, right? I might make elderberry syrup. I've never made it before, but I've got an idea of how to make syrup. Think of syrup. It's sweet. Honey. Honey is sweet. Let's combine elderberries and honey and... Welcome to Bearded Man Does Things. Remember those elderberries we foraged in the last video? Well, we're going to turn them into elderberry syrup. Don't know how. That's a lie. It's the... When the next bit starts, I didn't know then. I know now. So a really good staple of making something for yourself or your family are syrups. They're super simple. Don't overthink this stuff. Sometimes just go with it. You know what a syrup is? We've come across them so many times. It needs to be fruity. Elderberry syrup. Something sweet, sugary, viscousy liquid. Slurpiness. It's sweet. Honey. Honey is sweet. You can add things to it just depending on what your palate is. Limes, lemongrass. Oh, ginger. Why? Arr. Let's put a bit of heat into it. We're coming into autumn. Warming syrups. Yeah, that's why I'm putting it in. Not because I just fancied it. Because it's autumn. That's why. Absolutely, there's nothing wrong with following recipes as you get into grips with it. But don't become dependent on them. This is about self-sufficiency. This is about making do with what you have. And so don't take anything as gospel. Jazz. Play it a bit fast and loose and see what happens. Same goes for getting the elderberries, by the way, off of these. In this bowl here, I've got just some water because we're rinsing and cleaning them at the same time. Every now and then there's a little branch like that that's got a few berries on it. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't have to be so precise. There's also something very tactile about this whole process that is very enjoyable. One of the sourdough videos I do, I talk about enjoying the sensory aspects of the things that you make and do. And this is a great one. And as you run your thumb and your finger over the kind of the berries, there's this just lovely little pop, just as the berry comes free from the stem and it just feels nice. It's like popping bubble wrap, but it's not plastic. So it's even better. It's like uh, right, now we're at the stage where we can actually start to put everything together and I get to introduce you to my kind of philosophy, my slightly chaotic uh, approach Jazz. to recipe making and doing things for the most part. Uh, certainly things like this that should be quick, easy and fun. Again, you can get into the minutiae. There's a perfect way of doing it. You could spend your time doing research. But really, I just want to make a syrup and I want to make it relatively quickly. The elderberries, pour them into my saucepan. There's roughly 250 grams in there. And I've put rough measurements in the description below. Just because if you are starting out, you know what? It can be useful uh, to have a guide. But again, these aren't instructions. If you haven't got exactly 250, fine. Add whatever you've got, adjust roughly and accordingly, and it'll work out. Trust me, it's very hard to get this completely wrong. Teapot, a teapot's worth of water. Your teapot might be a different size, so you might have different water, I don't know. So we're just gonna pour that in there. Go just above the line of the elderberries, um, just so that they're yeah, got a good couple of centimetres above. If you get put too much in, either chuck some out before you start to boil it, or boil it for longer. A lime. Ginger is about a thumb sized piece. A bit of lemongrass. So I'm going to cut it in half. Give it a bit of a bash. There we go. There's your lemongrass. Dump that in there. And that is where I'm gonna leave you for part one and elderberry syrup making. I know that's probably quite annoying, certainly if you've just got to a point where you're like, uh-oh, jazz, I hate that guy.
So I've been editing this video, it started to turn into this 15 minute long epic on elderberry syrup and like no one's got time for that. So I've split it up, uh, next time we will finish the process um, as well as having a little bit more time I can go into a bit more detail on how to use it um, and you'll see I'm about to film it right now, it, it involves gin. So it's 10 in the morning. If that appeals to you, please subscribe, come back next time uh, for the completion. See how that story concludes. The finale, a bearded man does elderberry syrup, whatever the hell this is. Uh, in the meantime, things are ramping up out there and it might be a little bit anxiety inducing. Remember that all things pass. The great stoic philosopher called Marcus Aurelius. If you've watched the Gladiator films, same one. Well, not the same one, that was Richard Harris playing Marcus Aurelius. But uh, he, he was a real life person. He wrote a personal diary called The Meditations, that we, well, we have called it The Meditations. And he wrote that to himself many years ago. Great Stoic philosopher. And you might find solace in those teachings uh, right now. So might be something to look up as well as the crazy foraging nonsense that I'm talking about, but we're going to be okay. And I'll see you here next week. And we'll finish off the elderberry syrup. Look after yourself. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay sane. Keep active. And uh, I've been bearded man does things. Bye for now.